<laughs> Morning, everybody. Happy Little rabbit food. food. <laughs> as, as I've told you before, my sister loves to dress me up against my will. This has been happening since we were I've children. I've wanted to do that for years. She's never been willing to do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ever, since, ever since we were children, she's like come round with stuff. We, we did, we had a big dressing up box, didn't we? We, we used did. to dress up all the time. We used to dressing up is one of the best things your kids can do. It's you really know. good. Magic to play. But we're now in our 60s. Well, she's in her 60s. I'm all not right. Yet. I'm in my 60th year. And we're still dressing up. So, welcome to the Curly Cooks of Croydon. It's a beautiful day today. So we've got our garden, we've got the doors open. We can have a little, little wander out there at any point. Went emotionally to, if you're watching is it still cold in scotland i've just come back from scotland <laughs> the air there is something else <laughs> yes, yes, she came in today she went the air's cold it's like iron isn't it the air there yeah, is it's like it's iron it's just something else yeah yeah um oh, so what look at the dafts i know this was all from poundland guys aren't they just oh, gorgeous look. bunnies wanting to make more bunnies <laughs> these, are, these are from poundland the, the irises poundland. Yeah. i yeah. thought they were real they're croakai yeah i thought they the were croakai. real um, Croak eye. Croak eye. Last night I said to Dina, have you got any rosemary? And she went, yeah, I'll bring some. I swear to you, I opened the door this morning and she was there with this. Isn't Tell it them the story stunning. behind it. It's amazing. So a pupil of mine bought it for me about 16, 17 years ago as a leaving present, little pot like that. And it's now six foot wide and six foot high. And so Pearl strong? lives in my garden. Forever more. It's so, I love, I remember you saying about Pearl. Yeah. Oh, um, wow, it's lavender. Yeah. It smells like lavender. It's, it's so lavender. It's part of the same family, isn't it? The flowers are so stunning yeah, yeah. as well. You can dry them and make them into tea. Beautiful. And you can put them in old people's also, drawers. <laughs> also boil those rosemary and then breathe it as a hair rinse. And also oh, yeah. skin it Shiny and you hair. can turn it into a bamboo net. Yeah. <laughs> but today we're not doing any of that because we are well, doing... I am. <laughs> I'm doing a slow roasted shoulder of lamb with garlic and rosemary and all sorts of things. It's been in there since seven o'clock this morning, so hopefully we're gonna get something just falling off the bone for you to look at later. It was a lovely moment this morning as I was going through the papers and there was just the sound of it, just, just Sizzling. cooking. <laughs> and then I'm doing some lovely half-baked, half-roasted garlic potatoes, which are really easy to make if you've got loads of people coming, which will go, and all of that will go really nicely with what Dina's making. So, Dean, tell me what you're making. I am making melanzane, zucchini, uh, parmigiana, which is aubergine and courgette layered with tomatoes and parmesan. But, of course, it's a vegan parmesan that I have made. And I'm going to make you a mocktail, a little Easter mocktail. Ooh. And I'm going to try a wine that pairs really well with lamb, but also with chocolate. So, if you don't want to have lamb and wine, you can have this wine and chocolate, dark chocolate. So. And then Mark, we need a pair of Easter glasses on you. Let me take the camera. Mark is going to be making what? What are you going to be making? Trifle. Well, not just any trifle. Not any trifle, trifle. my nan's trifle. Your nan's trifle. My nan's trifle. Oh my <laughs> good Yeah. Great. Have you got a bottle of brandy? <laughs> Mark says that it, it was the beginning of his alcoholism was his nan's sherry trifle. Oh, yeah. So we're going to think of something other than sherry to I love out. to suck a sponge full of sherry. Oh, it, there is something, nothing like oh. it. It's like a ginger nut biscuit. Yeah, like sherry. a rhubarb. Oh, lovely. Dripping in the stuff. Yeah. Okay, oh. so Dina, why don't you kick off? I'm going to kick off because I am going to make a tomato sauce that needs to cook down for a little bit. Now, whilst you were lying in your beds having a cup of tea, your first cup of tea, I was frying up all these veg. I didn't want to bore you senses with doing that, okay? I'm quite but relieved. just a few top tips. Um, dust these in either corn flour, plain flour, or a little bit of polenta if you want a bit of crunch on them. Polenta? Yes. And these were just lightly fried. I didn't want them to brown them off. And then I've done some battered ones with... Ooh. with Plant milk, flour, corn flour, and garlic. And that's going to go on the top. So, a good old fashioned tomato sauce. I was taught this in Italy more than 40 years ago. And it simply is. Showing your age. <laughs> I'm not scared of my age. Be proud of it, own it, especially when you can't walk anymore. <laughs> Well, I've noticed holiday insurance has gone up. <laughs> What's that about? I was like... <laughs> You're trying, imagine trying to take your mother to New York. Oh, I bet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, so good old glug of some really good olive oil. I'm not using a frying olive oil here because I just want to 
swept these vegetables. So really finely diced, two celery sticks and two cloves of garlic. Now, if you haven't been here before, you'll know that we always sort of prep the garlic ahead of time because it whoops up the allicin in it. And allicin is the, the, the allicin, the acid. which um, is really good for you. Antioxidant, blah, blah, blah. So I just do a squat. Get in there, okay. So that's just gonna sweat a little bit. Now, also I like to add the salt now. And I'm gonna add, uh, what have we got here? It's lemon, thyme and sea salt, that would be lovely. That'd be perfect. This is a good stage to add the salt. It's, it makes these vegetables really umami. Umami? The base, umami? Fantastic. No umami. No umami. Yeah, okay. okay, no, explain what umami is. Umami is a depth of flavour. Good God, that was philosophical really quickly. Wasn't <laughs> it? I mean, it's a new fancy word. Do you remember when it was chefs were always sweating things down yeah. and uh, we were eating small portions of things? Well, now the new fancy word is umami. But it's actually, I mean, that actually comes from... Japanese, Japanese food, doesn't but it? I think. It's not a thing, umami, though, is it? It's a concept. It's a, it's yeah, a way it's of yeah, life. Yeah. It's not umami. No, sauce. but I mean, it's been used. It, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's been appropriated, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. From, so I think just, it's Japanese food. You just want to soften those and then add. So I've, we've got a nice little mixture here. Muti, lovely. They're posh, expensive. I've got flour all over uh, yeah. oh, Of course I have. So Mind my means, you know that muti means wearing your pants on the outside. <laughs> Mm, yeah. Well, mutande is pants in Italian. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> right, so one of pulp and one of chopped tomatoes just to give a bit of texture. Um, and it's as simple as that. And we're just going to let that cook down. I love the taste of tin. Do you? It's that's a lot of the things I don't like about the vegan things, you know, the jackfruit and the tins and stuff like that, because it just tastes of the tin. These make lovely little plant pots and they look like you've got a little Italian garden. Have you noticed we've got a little Italian theme going today? Don't know why, we just mm -hmm. went for Italian Easter. Well, the first time Nadja and I ever went to Italy was at Easter and they know how to celebrate. Wow, they really go for some pageantry. Um, so I said, let's do Italian Easter. Okay, now you can add, let's add a little bit of... Um, Vegetable bouillon, vegan vegetable bouillon. Mm. But if you're not doing it for vegans, it's, doing it, it's alongside the lamb, you could put a lamb stock cube in here. Dina, to, what's to, the badge you're wearing? Um, this Avon. is a little watermelon, this is Solidarity Palestine that my friend hand stitched for me. Now, interestingly, Palestine is really famous for its cross stitching. Yeah. So yeah. I did ask my cross stitching friend, could you make me some little badges? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, oh. can I have one? Oh, I have got you one. James Canton says, My dad always calls Mooty like it rhymes with butty. Mooty. Almost drives me up the wall. Mooty. 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 Oh, tired mummy, if you're there, hello, just a little call out for you. I hope you have a nice, peaceful, restful Easter weekend. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that to sweat now. Um, sweat off. Are um, you ready? A horrible yeah. word to but use thinking, for cooking though, isn't it? You yeah. could do um, Mark's cocktail now. Oh, okay. No problem at all. So, I wanted to incorporate the rosemary into today's little um, cocktail. Do it. And those okay. of you that are new to our channel, Mark, behind the camera there, the one you saw hopping like a bunny, has been sober. This is your 20th year. This October. This October, 20 years sober. Press. So unbelievable, yeah. so incredible. So that's why. Right, Shut, shut up. Shut up Nadia, where's your little sieve? I can't see any sieves in the cupboard. They're all here, the sieves. Oh. Okay, so what I've made, Orange. what I've made here is a sugar syrup infused with rosemary. Rosemary is brilliant for your memory. It's a real uplifter. It's a real antioxidant. It's has got calcium and iron. You know, herbs do have really good qualities. Yeah, they're Don't, they're not, You know, they are. They're green. So there's a little town in Campania, Aracioli, I think, I can't, I'm not going to get it right, where they've, they've got so many, how do you say, 100-year-old people? Centurions. Yes, yeah, so many, and they have a very rosemary-heavy rosemary based diet. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so they're doing some researching on that. So into this cocktail, we're going to have a little bit of this rosemary 
Oh, so what are the other rosemary. places you can put rosemary? Oh my god, what? I'm going to list anything really. Right, anyway. Rosemary tea in the morning. Rosemary tea in the morning, fabulous. Also, get some sprigs of rosemary, stick them in some water and stick it in the fridge. You've got a lovely, cool, refreshing A friend of mine used to go to parties where they used to, they used to slap each other with the rosemary branches. <laughs> Do you know those parties? So we've got a little bit of sugar syrup in there. We've got one orange, one lemon. This is a funny old sieve, isn't it? Do you like orange and lemon? Do you like oranges and lemons? You I do know now. What, until I started this adrenal cocktail, uh -huh. I didn't like orange. Okay. So I'm not going to say I don't. And that's going to we're going to top it up with soda. So lemon, orange, rosemary. How delicious! Mm. How delicious! Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And actually, you could stick a lime in there as well. Yeah, I was trying to stick to. <laughs> Little Get it in your I've just seen the lamb. Have you? Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> How long's it been in there? Uh, since about seven. Oh, thanks guys. Lots of lovely messages. Thank you very much. Cheers. Right. Let's have a drink to celebrate. Okay. Tell me if that is <laughs> sweet enough. And tell me if you can taste it the rosemary. Hang on a minute, I've got to do it different <laughs> way. Let me taste it as well. I know, he's snorting it. It might need a little bit of uh, more sugar syrup. <laughs> sugar syrup. It it's quite sharp, but it's is nice. It? Okay, let's put... Sorry, no, put it up my nose, don't worry. Put a bit of coconut No, put a bit of more of this in. Put a bit more of the rosemary. He loves sweet. There's something, oh, there's something quite nice about the fizz, though. There's a sort of aspect to the fizz. Yeah? Yeah. I love soda. Did you mix it up? Let's share. That is nice. Let's share. Yeah, don't use mine, it's been up my nose. Mm. Oh, it's lovely. It's nice. Oh, that's so fresh. Mm. It'd be nice with the squirrels to the gin. Well, of course, you couldn't mm. add gin to it. That yeah. would make it. It'd be really nice. nice with gin, <laughs> vodka, <laughs> tequila. <laughs> oh. No, but it is a that's nice. nice. It's a nice, refreshing mixer. Ooh, that's because fresh. you can make a big jug of that, and then for people that don't drink, and no, people that do. think about the poor fuckers who can drink. No, but I mean, <laughs> that <laughs> rosemary is just getting the dog some water. Minute, so you could do that with any herb, but that rosemary in there is so that's good. really nice. It's delicious. Like yeah. Ooh, I'm impressed I like with the myself. bits of green in it as well. Yeah. There's something nice about bits. I'm impressed with myself. Yeah, well done. Right, okay. So, Nadja, you need to cook now. Okay, come over. God, right. You get away with telling me to do things. <laughs> you got need this. to cook now. Yeah, you need to cook now. <laughs> I've got this gorgeous piece of lamb, a shoulder of lamb from Waitrose. It was, it's, it was 25 quid, but it's not every day you're having a shoulder of lamb. It's Easter Fe feeds six no, to seven. Lee Pitt came in the room whilst we were drinking. Oh. Let me just clarify something. It was a mocktail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can but put gin in it. You can put gin in it. <laughs> yeah, you like that, Lee. You'll like that, actually, Lee. It's, it's nice. really refreshing. Just bring it back down um, this end. You must have Lee over soon. Miss I wonder if that green in there you put in, or was it my bogey? Sorry. <laughs> um, um, so, yeah. So, twenty. it was 25 quid. Um, I think... You can, there yeah. will be places that you can get it cheaper, but say. for that six to seven people, it was just, Lamb yeah. is expensive. Lamb it's is one expensive. Of the most expensive. So meals. it is like a special thing. That's why we tend to these days only have them on special occasions, don't How we? How will that feed though? Six to seven people. Oh, yeah. But if you do a lot more potatoes and you've got the vegetable, you, know, you just have a little, we've got to get used to eating less meat. Yeah. You have a little bit of meat for the taste and then you have lots. Of, so you could get up to eight people and you just have a little bit. So... Always get it out of the fridge a couple of hours before. Can you just give me a plastic? Um, plastic. Yeah, you don't want to cut. You don't want to cut your meat ever on wood because what happens is then it all goes into the cracks in the wood. So. You got a knack on, on wood. wood. So I would have normally taken this out of the plastic, but I just wanted to show you um, the the. Well, I've got it because yeah, everybody's, everybody's, everyone keeps saying, where did you get your lamb? Because people have been finding it hard to get a shoulder of lamb. Yeah, uh, I noticed in Sainsbury's they've got loads and loads of legs, like piles of legs, legs. but no shoulder. I'm think, not going close up because it's a little bit tense. I think people are not sort of overly keen on shoulder, but it is a really much Meltingly cheaper stuff. and a meltier. Hugely popular with Brits Why on Easter. Why do not like lamb? What, what's made because, me not like it? Oh, really because when it's cooked badly. No. Oh, right. Well, that must yeah. be my name. Then. Definitely. <laughs> I really want you to try this one today because it is stunning. So, first of all, uh, you will have to... 
if anyone doesn't like this bit you can just not watch this bit but so you're just making holes in the lamb like that dot it about um, and on the other side so you've got the, nice. the fizz is, makes it really nice, nice doesn't it yeah so you really so the water is very underrated sorry excuse me so you've got the um, uh, what's it called garlic going through it so you can just put that to one side for a minute so uh, I'm, I'm going to start off by putting a little oil in the bottom of my pan, like that. And then I'm going to put some red onion. That is a red onion. I know. So cool. red Look red at the colour of that. Isn't that stunning? Beauteous. Beauteous. Oh, it's had better days, this onion, but that's fine. Just take beetroot. that bit off. That's an onion wanting to be a beetroot. <laughs> it is. It's Isn't got it? ideas above its station. Yeah, it has. So, um, and then just sliced. I wish Instagram did the font colour of that onion. No, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And then I'm going to put my lamb on top of the onion. A uh, couple of reasons, because you get the onion coming through the lamb. You're going to use the onion if you want to make a gravy. Um, and also, it just takes the lamb just off the bottom of the pan a bit because sometimes it can go a bit dry on it the yes, lamb yes. that sits on the on the actual i think everything that could go wrong with lamb has whenever i've had it <laughs> oh my god yeah. i cannot even imagine what his nan said oh, <laughs> well, my, my experience Boy, of lamb was a lamb top cool. that was burnt oh. and dry and i was like what the hell is all the fuss about so basically oh, no. this onion is from this like is melted this will be meltingly soft. Stilts. And also oh. this, this onion, doesn't have to be a red onion, guys. It can be any onion you like. Then, uh, you don't have to put onion. You don't have to put garlic if you don't like garlic. Can I just ask, when you do a garlic like that, does it really do anything? Oh, yeah. Does it? Oh, yeah. It looks nice. And we're going to put it, oh, shit. Oh, nice. We're going to put it out when we, um, oh. you know, when we... Serve it so it looks really Your nice. Your dad would just eat those bits, wouldn't he? We, all, we all would. I wouldn't. We all would. <laughs> no, but well, when it's it's cooked, no, but when it's cooked like that, Mark, it's not, it's not, it, it doesn't have that same smell on your breath. So then some shallots, because they'll look really nice. Shallots, shallot. Shallots, but again, you don't have to do any of this fancy bit at all. It's just if you want to make it a bit more special. And of course, all this does add lovely flavour. It will give you fabulous gravy. And it gives you fabulous gravy. Okay, so then back to our lamb. Just going to see just how easy this is. And the great thing is, I've put it in that oven. I haven't looked at it since. Um, so I'm just going to brush it all over with olive oil. My mum's not she loves lamb. Yeah, well, no, she comes be, tomorrow. We've got loads of lamb. Mom, loads. Come tomorrow. Because, of course, I had to cook one Here's before. one I made earlier. So this is a mix of uh, Cornish salt and pepper, but obviously if you haven't got that mix, you just salt and pepper it. Put in the other ones you sent, Julie. So yeah, gorgeous. Thank you, we're loving yeah, them. Yeah, I've got the lemon and thyme one. And then really yeah. rub them in. Okay, then, oh, what oh, do you need? I need another thing of garlic, please. Uh, a bulb of garlic. Oh, bulb. bulb, please. A bulb. Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm just doing some, so I can just, show, I don't have to do them all. So you can put as much or as little garlic in like this as you want. Oh, and then we're going to use some of Dina's gorgeous rosemary. So, rosemary. Yeah. Do you want to cut some, Dina, to go in the lamb? And then cut the garlic again, so like into four pieces. Like that. And, oh, I do, yeah. You really should do your cut and then put your garlic in straight away, because now I don't know where my cuts are. Is it lamb when you see those sort of crossed bits in it? You know, when you sort of, what do you mean? You sort of see a little kind of. I, think, I don't know what I'm talking about. So stupid. I did that and then put it to one side. I is it when you, do you thrust rosemary sprigs in lamb? Is this the? Is this yes. what happens? Oh, I like this bit. But I didn't have Dina's sprigs yesterday, <laughs> so they're not. It's not going to look as great when it comes out. Because I had to use just some... Asda are selling their veg for Easter Sunday lunch, says Elsa Pop, for 15 pence each. Oh, God. Asda is wonderful. But also, some... I don't know if this is only in Scotland, but if you spend £30 at the moment, you get 50, you get it for 15 quid. What? In Asda's. With, you get to have, really? You've got to have the app, the Asda app, and you get 
30 quid worth of shopping for 15 Good pounds, God. but it might only be Scotland. I, I think you need to do I... the Asda wrap. <laughs> <laughs> I did notice that things were quite a bit cheaper in Scotland. Yeah, they, oh God, absolutely they no, are. Except the fish and chips. Oh, have. how lovely it's does that lamb? I wish I had that for me, a lamb that's going to be coming oh, out. How oh, how pretty is that? You look like queen of the main. Right, so then we're also going to, because so I've got this lovely thyme, so it's a really nice herby uh, lamb. Where's thyme. my? Oh. Okay, I can't find it. Oh, well, that's magical. So, oh, at least You've got loads of lovely marjoram in the garden. Let me see. Oh, yes, please. For your gram. Oh, look at that. I mean, how beautiful. And then, on the top... It's like a herb garden. Just some tomatoes like that. And then that will cook down. Oh, nice. The tomato juice will go into yeah. it. So, so, so then you put that in the oven. This is two kilos. Put it in the oven for... I did it for about... Uh, 45 minutes on 200 fan and then I've turned it down to then then wrap it in foil after that so first of all I did it like that so it was just oh sorry sorry let me start again don't put the tomatoes on first <laughs> cook it at 200 fan for about 40 minutes then put the tomatoes on top and then cover tightly with wow. tin foil and put it in the oven and just leave it in the oven for about four hours, four to five hours. So Louis Jones says, I remember you did this last year on Curly Cook's Easter special. Yeah, I did, say, I did a different one. I can one. say the lamb looks lovely. Yes, so I, last I year did, did a Greek Middle one. Middle, oh, Middle Eastern. Eastern. Middle Eastern. Yeah. We did Middle Eastern Turkish, because remember we did the lovely trifle, the Turkish ah. trifle. It's going to be a bit different today, isn't it, Marky, with your trifle? Oh, so this, bit, yeah. this is very English, all kind of Italian as well, because we've got the garlic, we've got the rose, we've got the thyme, you know, which, so it's just, it, and look how beautiful that is. Yeah. Um, so we're not no, going to cook that now. No. Oh! Yeah. So, <laughs> she's going to try the vino, and then I'm going to tell you something about the vino before we finish with the lamb. Right, so for today's, it is an Aldi. Lee Pitt, if you're in the room, alcohol's in the room. Aldi vegan, and it's 13.5%. Is that big? And this was an, this is an award, silver award winner at Aldi, so that's why I picked it. And I think it's 6.75. Brilliant. So, so it, what I would do is, after I've done that 40 minutes, just like it gets a bit roasty and brown, then before I cover it, I would put half a glass of red wine. Don't pour it all over the lamb, just put it into the dish because you've got that nice crispy bit yeah. and then it spoils it. So I'm just going to put that aside. Side. Okay. Okay, so now we'll cook that tomorrow. anyone that missed the beginning, um, this pairs really, really, really well with lamb but also with chocolate. So I'm going to take a bit of chocolate. What do you think about this, Lee? Oh. Eating chocolate with red wine. You dip it in like, like a biscuit. So this is dark chocolate from um, Aldi again with a hazelnut. Right, okay, let's get a swill on Sorry, this. can I just do something quickly? Yeah. Too, just before you try that, I forgot to do. Don't try it. The That's other thing, don't try it. <laughs> you'll see the potatoes when they come out of the oven, but oh, this yeah. is how I do potatoes. Anyone that's watched me regularly will know these potatoes. I know Zoe loves them now. So they're called our crisscross roast baked potatoes. So I rub them just with a bit of olive oil. What temperature for the Bit of salt. Uh, 140 fan or 160. And then I just cut it like that. You'll see them come out in a minute. And then with a small sharp knife, make sure you watch where your hands are. I do that way and then that way. Not all the way to the edge. Remember to cut away from you. So, oop. Like that. Just doing it like this. to go through the timings and temperatures again. I will. Point. I'll do it. I'll do it as when we get the lamb out. And then I brush it with oil. And then, if you're putting it in the same in on the same in the same oven as your lamb, they're probably going to have to go in. Put them on a baking tray. Probably go in for the last two hours because it's going to take long because it's on a lower heat. Okay, you can go back now. Right, so I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> I've been practicing my R's in Scotland. They like to roll an R. Okay, so let's have a look at the legs. Random. No, look at that. Lovely. Legs. Oh, legs. Legs. Legs again. Okay, so the leg. 
you, you can look at the sort of richness and depthness of a wine with the, the lovely legs that lick the side of the glass. I fell in love with a glass of wine once. I can believe that. It fell in love with me. Was it your Ooh, fault? No. That's depth. Is it deep? Depth. How deep did you go? Oh, <laughs> Zoe, that's one for you to get out to Aldi's today and get that. Dina, trick question. How many centimetres in a metre? A hundred. Nadia says not everyone knows that. Did you see our DIY show? Dina. Sure. But you know what was interesting, Mark? Loads of people were messaging underneath that show saying, oh, yeah, everyone knows it's 100 metres in a centimetre or whatever it is. And, and they went, but I didn't know how many ounces there were Ooh. in a... And well, I know no, that. That was the point, if you watch it, that was the point I was making. Not everyone knows that. Mm. What about centimetres? She, she didn't know that 100 centimetres. Right, so apparently, no according to my very good wine friend, the wine bird at Helen Sips on Instagram, um, I hear she's a right animal. Mm -hmm. She says chocolate. Oh, you're eating the chocolate as a kind of voice that you mean. Oh. I can imagine that works. Oh, that's lovely. Because that is almost, it's really rich and like a dark chocolate. She's having the time of her life down here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. chocolate and wine, what not to like? Get down Aldi today. Yes. Um, for a lovely Easter wine at 6.75. And it says double O reserve. Oh no, do your own reserve. Right, so, my tomato sauce has been cooking for about 15 minutes. It's a fancy little bottle you've opened there. It is a fancy little bottle, it's a little trick. Oh. So I'm just going to try my tomatoes. They're a little, little acidic. Oh, okay. So top tip, yes. if you don't want to add sugar, yes. the best way to get that off is just a little bit of vanilla. So, just a little, and that's going to take the edge off that acidity. Um, lovely, that's lovely and rich now. Look at that, perfect. I'm ready to go. Okay, so actually, I'll let that cool down a little bit. Does Mark want to do, do you his? Want me to do the. I can just shut the lamp. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to make. Oh, look at him, he's just on his own. Let me have a. Something a bit young for the that potatoes. That was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> right. So again, taking some of our beautiful rosemary, because it's so gorgeous. Do you eat the flowers, Dina? I do. Do you? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful flowers to decorate a salad with. You or... put some nice bits on the jacket, on the jacket tray. Of, of um, rosemary? Yeah. Just put some on so it looks nice. And some thyme. This is like you're both eating. My dish is not <laughs> going to be ready. Yours is ready. That's <laughs> all right. We're only half an hour in. <laughs> That's okay. We usually have two things ready at different times. Yeah. Time is a construct. As we what discover. are you waiting for with yours to cool down? Well, I've got to put it together and put it in the oven. Well, would you want to do that now? Well, I don't know. Yes. Whilst they work things out. Guys, remember, it's clocks go forward. Spring forward tonight. That means you lose an hour in bed. Don't drive any heavy goods vehicles. Uh, and it's, it's Easter Monday, isn't it? And Mum, Nanny Di, come on over. Okay, so just chopped up some more herbs. Oh, God, the smell of them. You see, when you smell a, a, a herb freshly chopped like that, Dina, yeah. there's no question that it would be good for you. Yeah. You can smell the medicine in it. Well, I think you can so, ask the question, but you have the answer. Yeah. So all over, put it away. Oh, oh, oh. Reveal, I yeah. showed it. Um, so here we've got the, in here I put a load of uh, garlic cloves. I love garlic in oil. Yeah, into oil and confit them, which make, means just basically cooked very slowly in oil, so you don't get any chance of them burning. Look at that. Right, now you can either put that into butter or olive oil. You can keep it in the olive oil. Oh, look at that. Mmm, Dina. Yum. Yeah, perfect. That's lovely in mashed potato. Gorgeous in mashed potato. You could make a jar of this for the week. Yeah. Gorgeous on... Uh, when we were kids, we always used to have jacket potatoes with garlic butter. Do you remember? Yeah. Mum used to make it. So I can fin I'm going to then add some butter to this. So I'll, if it was just me, I would just have the olive oil, but I know the girls will love it with butter. So I'm going to put a spoonful of butter. <sighs> What? I didn't need the butter, did you? No, but they will want the butter. 
they will love it with butter. So I've got a mixture. And people here might like her butter yeah. than olive oil. And then put the the herbs in. Oh, look at that. How beautiful. Oh. Joyous. So, um, yeah, so I'll keep mixing that up and getting it ready. And you can mm. lay yours and then I can serve I can. up. Okay. So we're ready to go now. And via the dafts. And we're just going to layer up our veg. So we're going to put a little bit of sauce on the bottom. Do you like a nicer side or do you prefer a daff? A uh, nicer side. Love them. And we're going to start with my courgettes. Oh, lovely. So you can do this with courgettes and aubergines or just aubergines or whatever vegetable you like. And we'll work out with mushrooms as well. What do you want the oven on, Dina? Uh, 180, I think. It's starving. Okay. So here yeah. I've made a, a little kind of parmesan, which is two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, half a cup of ground walnuts, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. Granny, yeah, you're right. Love daffodils, but tulips are my favourite flower. Oh. I love a tulip. I love okay. a peony. And then a little bit more sauce. I'm planting seeds today, Dina. Oh, you? what are you planting? I'm plant planting rocket. Good. I'm planting Yum. lettuce, tomatoes. Oh, yes. Uh, mustard seed. Oh, yes. What, what, which tomatoes are you doing? Oh, I can't remember. I've got, I've got cherry, vine, and I've got figgies. Right, and then you've got your aubergine. This is a labour of love in the sense that you've got to fry all these individually. Is it like a lasagna? It is. But no, it's, it's carb special. it's carb free. Yeah. Um, delicious, squash that one in there. Loveliness. There's something I forgot. Our peonies aren't out yet, Sarah Fox. Huh? Someone, uh, Sarah's saying peonies are growing like mad. Ours are just coming from the earth. That was what was so weird in Scotland. Like none of the the blossom was just on the edge of turning. Ah. The magnolias were just I'm like our oh, magnolias so are coming to an so end, aren't they? Yeah. They've got normal spring. They have. They've got they've got nostalgic spring from the seventies. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. That looks delicious. Is yep. it like my parmigiana parmigiana? It is parmigiana jana jana. Yeah. Okay. And then this is. I good. remember Nadia making this with great Wallace. Oh. What her recipe? No, in the restaurant. I'm doing a little mixture here. Matera. She's, she's never seen passport with sun. Matera. She's, she's not seen it. it. Oh, I love Matera. Yeah. Greg Wallace. Good food. <laughs> right, okay, some more of my parmesan. My parmesan. So rather than using a, a processed vegan I like the look of parmesan, thing, this is very easy to make. Oh, nice. And then a nice powder. alternative if you're not into sort of eating small defenseless animals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coming to the end now, pop all that tomato sauce there. Okay, lovely. Whoa. Mandy Lou, I'm with you. The peonies are lovely and then they get blown over for <laughs> seconds. And then I'm going to put my battered courgettes on the top to give it Ooh. a nice thick top. God, this just keeps getting better. Yeah. Battered courgettes. Yes. Well, yeah. I'm going to, you know, you might the flummox me there. I'm liking the look of this. Right. Oh, good. Yeah. All the vegetables. Did you, 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 you know you got the basil? Did you want basil? I did basil, oh. which I'm going to put at the end. Right, so now I'm going to mess, make a little topping for that. I was going to say creamy sauce. Um, yes. Let's keep that there. Do you like that? Okay, you know what they say, the youngsters, I'm vibing with this. <laughs> so, um, let's whack the black. That's a carton of vegan cream cheese by Philadelphia. Put the rest of that parmesan in. A little bit of cream. Nadra, I couldn't find your scissors earlier. Oh, well, the Danny Dye's been here again. Yeah. <laughs> She's probably sat there now using them. Yeah. She's probably cutting her nails. It's um, all been very measured today, hasn't it? DP says, could you do the same with aubergines? I thought aubergines were in it. Yes, it's got aubergines in it. Oh, I've right. got a mixture of aubergines and um, courgettes. Now, gadget. Peter Moore agrees, it, this is a whole vibe. <laughs> <laughs> a gadget from the ideal home. Oh, Wizzy so Whisk, this is called. Is it? Is that an and it's amazing. Wizzy? You just keep pumping it, pumping it, pumping it, and it makes it froth, 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 she says. Oh, have you put the battery oh. in? It doesn't need a battery, oh, it it's hand. You should see the way it froths up milk. It is bad. Oh my mad. God. Mean, I don't this is what this is for. I don't think it's, it's what it's for. Have you done that right? Else. What do you mean, have I done that right? 
This is my recipe. No, no, the whisk. I'm using the whisk right. I think the whisk is for something else, girls. The man did it like this. Yeah. The man. Is it too high up again? Your arm. It's good. Go a bit lower. It's good. It's getting nice and fluffy. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Ah, there you go. <laughs> I, I'm gonna. I'll have to do the milk to show yeah, them. Yeah, because it just dub Look, it's doubling in size. Oh, well, yeah. Mark, Mark, Close your eyes, guys. And just listen. Mark's gonna use it for his cream. Oh, is he? <laughs> Gosh, I'll tell you what. You don't need to do your bicep curls after you've done this. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed, guys. <laughs> Mark! <laughs> oh, gosh, there we are. Nice and flat. <laughs> <laughs> right, open your eyes. <laughs> Right, I think I've, I think I've overloaded this. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed. <laughs> I think I've overloaded this. <laughs> Did you say you've got some breadcrumbs? That's a wax and breadcrumbs on top of there. No. <laughs> Shut up. Breadcrumbs are just staring. It's got to be a section that you've got to post as a story. It's quiet with no pictures. Right, so that, I'm going to hope that this bakes a nice fluffy top on here. Well, I haven't got enough. Never That's all right, mind. but with the breadcrumbs, it's fine. Wanko breadcrumbs. See, this is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem when you're vegan. You can't just whack some cheese on it. That's fine. That'll be nice. Right. A little olive oil on the uh, breadcrumbs. Get it in. And just for the sake of it, let's stick a rosemary in there. Yeah. Because the rice seems to be. Yeah, when in doubt, just tear it, it off and shove stick it in. Stick it in. Stick it in. Lovely. Look at that. Right, open yes. that door. Well, wait a minute because I'm going to bring the potatoes out first. Well, and I then you can put I it hide in. behind here then? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to reveal the potatoes. Yeah, yet. So. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Go on, Dina. What am I doing? Put yours in. Oh. And action. Right. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Oh. Delicious. Beautiful. Get it in I'm this. whack it up a bit. Yes. Okay, oh. so we have our lamb. Shall we open it up? Oh, what's in there? It's in here. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like look it. at that. Oh, my God, Dina. Tell me about I'll the smell. I'll take a picture for the ground. The smell. Oh. Pazesco. Crazy. It smells good. It smells so good. Mark, tell them she can't. It smells see. sensational. It's sweet. It, it smells is, sweet. It is. That's perfection. Look how soft that meat is. Betty, oh are you watching? Catherine McLaughlin says, get that in my belly. <laughs> oh my God, it's so oh, sweet. It it's like it's already falling you know when the they bone. say falling off the bone, it already yes. is. Look at that. Into oh. the sunlight. Get it in the sunlight. Look at all those lovely onions. Mm. Oh my God. Oh. The gravy. The gravy, see those tomatoes? Yeah. Delish in Ask the gravy. How many people are having lamb tomorrow? Let's get a poll. How many people, how are, many having people are having lamb tomorrow? Just want to get that in the sun, lads. It looks so nice. Get yeah. lamb in the sun. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh my God, those juices, unbelievable. Now, oh, that lamb. It's called Chi Chi, eh? <laughs> that lamb, stop, that lamb juice under the, under the, um, the oil is so delicious. Um, so what I would do, if you want to make a jus, is separate that la that the um, oil, and you know take the majority of it off, and then just have those little juices. Oh my god! I'm having Easter overload. I've got daffodils. I've got crow <laughs> I've got this. I've got curly cooks. I've got wine. Yeah, I've got look lamb in sunlight. Those those onions, mom, come home. My mom and dad are in Jordan. Come, ho this is so. Guess what, mom? I've got another one to cook for you when you come back. Gonna have all of this again. Okay, so now she's there, Betty. Is Betty there? She hasn't said anything yet. Yeah. She's probably down by our seaside. Mm. Oh my god! Can I just get a moment in the oh sun to stay out the sun? Look at that, guys. The taste of that. Is insane. It's so rich and savoury, the lamb <gasps> juice. Okay, so then we have our crisscross potatoes. Mm. Look how beautiful they are. A little work of art. And they look like a little Easter egg. 
Mm. Oh, they do, oh, don't they? Eggs. It's like the lambs leave an egg, which is just <laughs> wrong in every way. What do they think? Are people liking people it? People have literally fainted. It's gone so <laughs> quiet. I think they've all keeled over. Well, I'll take a picture of it because then you can shred it and we can have a. So let me oh, put like our garlic. Oh, you just soup it up with a bit more. Yeah, <gasps> a bit more. Uh huh. Uh huh. Dina. Dina. <laughs> Dina, glad you're a vegan. Well, I could eat the potatoes until you <laughs> bugged it up with the butter. Oh, yeah, sorry. No. Shall I leave those two without butter? Yeah. We're going to make the ground. It's gone a bit dark. Yeah, it's gone a bit dark. Yeah, get out of the side. side. Right, now, oh, so oh. what I'm just going to do now is separate some of this oil. Yes. So I can do that while you're doing something else, Dean, if you want. Oh. And then, um, and then I'll make a little jus. I'll show you how to make a little jus. Just keep wanting to home in on this, but it's in the shadow at the moment. Mm. Sorry. Maybe we need to put a bit more of this. Fresh. The layers, the textures, the shade, the colour, the rustico, the smell. Oh, everything about that's great. And it is, it has got a really Italian flavour to that. It because that's a traditional lamb with rosemary. And is lamb supposed to, there's a sweetness to the smell. Yeah. Oh, oh my see. God, I want to eat it now. Have I gone a bit over the top with the rest? No, that's just fine. Yes, it's that's beginning it. to look so a lovely. bit like um, a refuse collection for the. So garden. shall I make a jus, or is that boring for people to watch? Do they want me to make a jus? Uh, well, that's not the answer. Look, look at that lovely pan of juices. Yeah. But I've got to separate. Well, you've got to separate it. Okay. Um, well, well, we won't do it now. No, Mark can do his trifle. Okay, Mark will do his trifle, and then oh. hopefully my vegetable dish will be. I have to say, ready. I really, really like this. Oh, good. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put the So smile. lemon and orange and that. It's yes. a real, not just a, it's a summer drink, isn't it? It's a great thing. See, so, look, like, put the tomatoes on now as well. I'm just going to put a little bit of that oil on the top. There you go. I almost want to wear it as a hat. A whole plate. <laughs> a bonnet. You know, uh, yeah, a bonnet. A Easter uh, parade. Oh, we should have done Easter bonnets. Yeah. I could have had Listen, a... I've done too many years yeah, of yeah, making Easter, Easter bonnets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh. Now our kids are grown up and we don't have to do them anymore. <sighs> wow. It does look amazing. To die for now, says Sartre. Once, once we've um, got some photos, I will open it to show you how oh. wonderfully soft it is. How do we open it at the end? Yes, you need to, yeah. you need to serve up a dish oh, that's with my vegetables. Think. Yeah, we love it. Okay. Go on then, okay. Dina. Trifle. It's not me, it's Mark. Trifle. Oh, it's Mark. Okay. It's Mark. Mark. Stop All right, photos. so we need to... <laughs> He's going to use Dina, can you wipe the side off there for Mark? So let's just have another reminder. Here's the wine, guys. Portuguese, I chose. And it's Portuguese wine. That's Portuguese. I chose that because I'm going to Lisbon next week, so I yes. thought I would just give myself a. Yes, I'm yes, so yes. glad I didn't go this week. Have you seen it? Would you like the first of our Lisbon uh, couple does to land? Yeah. Nice. yeah. Yeah. But the streets have been rivers. 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 People are literally boats down there. And with the tiles. Be careful. <laughs> well, I checked my sandals this morning, actually, I'll send after your advice. I went out for a, and did a live on the on the on the tiles. tiles. Yeah, yeah. Well, my sandals haven't got a lot of grip, so oh. I need to change those. Yeah, I have Crocs, I nearly broke my neck. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are like the bottoms of Crocs. Ah. So I'm just going to take a few photos. Dina, can you move over the stuff for Mark for the trifle? Yes. It's there. Mark, what is in your trifle? Let's see. Well, let's have a look. I can talk you through okay, it. Okay, let me bring it over for you. So, this looks a little bit risque, if you want Risque? To yeah. It's a little bit functional, if you ask me. I need the right... Oh, now we're talking. Sponge fingers. Now, my nan. Oh, God, this is so weird. Are you put... Oh. Yeah. It's right. big, isn't it? I don't know if everything's going to... Glassy fit, cherries. Oh, where's hundreds of... <laughs> oh, yeah. The glassy cherries are for, um, oh. for the Seminole cake. I always put glass. You always put glass. You've got hundreds of You've got them. You've got them. Oh, God. And he bought all this stuff anyway himself. So cream. There's no cream. Yeah, it's in the fridge, sweetie. Oh. But you don't, don't get it yet. Oh. You, don't, you don't need that. Right. Now, okay. we're not going to tell you anything. Well, hang on a minute. I don't know how to. Yes. Except that um, because you don't want to use sherry, yes. obviously, because of the alcohol, we thought if you, if you um, drain the... Tin fruit. You can nice dip, idea. You can dip your sponge things. That's in a great it. idea, Nancy. So Mark's bought jelly ready made. <laughs> jelly ready? Yeah. No. Well, I just thought. Jelly Did my ready man made. Make jelly? How's that gonna work? Well, it's like this. Look, it's already in a tin, in a jelly thing. Okay. So hang on, I'm trying to th I'm trying to remember. It's all about the order, isn't it? Otherwise, 
The thing I loved about my Nan's thingy was that it was, it was literally at the bottom was pure alcohol. And they didn't drink, they just had brandy for this kind of thing. <laughs> um, and I used to go in and I used to get these. And these would just be so wet. I just, just, oh. I just suck them. <laughs> suck them and eat them. Yeah, so that's the thing. You can use that juice, Dean, as draining instead of a sherry. Nice. But okay, so I seem to remember that the first thing she would do, because it must have been that she put these at the bottom first. So a layer of these, because then she had them at the top as well. And these would soak oh, it all up. Dip them. You have to dip. No, no, they'll get all that in there, won't they? Whatever. Oh, I see. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Yeah, hit like four times, yeah, yeah, yeah. but not too much. You no, sort no. of literally just go dip, dip and then dip. In really quickly because otherwise it they just fall apart. Yeah, that's it. So dip, 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 just dip. Really quickly. Dog, Le dog. Less time than that, even. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Otherwise they'll collapse. Oh look, they've got little names on them. Look, boudoir, boudoir. Boudoir biscuits. So boudoir. Yes, that's what they're always called. Boudoir. Were they? I keep sticking my finger in this glass is like. Yeah. Ah, so this is oh very old-fashioned trifle. When you think about the one oh we made love, if you want a really fancy one, go yeah. to our vlog from a last year ago. Easter, yeah. And, and I used to go into the kitchen, and while she was making it, I'd run in and go, "Nan, are you making the trifle?" She'd be like, "Get out, Mark! Get out!" And she'd be <laughs> stuffing some of this stuff in her mouth, bless. Um, and then jelly was low. So I'm, oh. <gasps> boobies. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, don't really... oh. <laughs> Do you think she made it with ready-made jelly? No, she didn't. She made proper jelly. So, okay. So what, don't she worry. Pour that on top of the... Yeah, oh. I know what I'm doing. What kind of jelly is that? Raspberry. Oh my god, what a colour. It's great, isn't it? Christ. God almighty, then. Yeah, so Dina, as I was saying, just turn them back if they want a fancy trifle. <laughs> they want a fancy trifle. Go back one year in time on YouTube. And YouTube search for Easter. Easter 2023. And search Turkish trifle. I'm so excited. This is so, I could, I mean, I literally, you know, I could just eat this. Oh, oh fucking hell. <laughs> what are they doing? Oh. oh, no, your custard needs opening. Oh, God. Nothing ever. Here we go. So look. Oh. Now the other thing that about a trifle. Does anyone like to give Mark any tips on how this trifle? Where does the fruit go? I thought that went in the jelly. Oh, maybe it did. Doesn't it doesn't matter. Doesn't just matter. do it how you want no, to do is, it. No, this is. I remember. No, Mark, I, just do get a spoon though. Don't you? No, 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 it's all right. It's just because you've got gardening. In there. I haven't got gardening. I've washed my hands. No one's going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. Um, okay. Careful. Here's the thing. The other thing I used to love about uh, the trifle was it always made me think of wibbly things. A wibbly thing. Yeah. Just get a spoon out of it, darling. Yes, I just think it's so wibbly. And did she use this tin of custard? Yeah. yeah she yeah. wouldn't have made She custard. didn't make custard. And so, where's the fruit bomb? There. So, uh, uh, just, excuse me. Does anyone want to give me any tips? <laughs> hang on a minute. Oh, hang on. Uh, I think I need... Well, well, I've said about four times, get a spoon and break up the jelly a bit. Okay. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. As I say, oh, you want a nice trifle, nice cheers. What's wrong? This is going to be lovely. Well, As actually, a kid, we should put the link underneath, shouldn't we? As a kid? Yes, is... yes, definitely put the link underneath. <laughs> I'm just going to do a oh, bit of it. Oh, yeah. oh. Right. Look, then I'm going to do some more of these. In two tins of fruit, there's two half cherries. Oh, oh my, oh my God. God. Don't do it like that, guys. Oh, hang on. It's a oh, this is it. This is great. This is, how, uh, this is, I remember she would just go blum, 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 blum. That's my trifle. Blum, blum. That's it. I had two of these. You have? Oh, you mean two packets? Yeah. Two trays? No, you haven't. You're going to have to spread Stab it out. Stab the jelly! Spread it out. Stab the jelly. This is good. So can you get the cream out that you can put it into a bowl that you can use that tiny whisk here? Yeah. What, the new whisk? Yeah. The new whisk. The wanky whisk. The new wanky whisk. Oh, buttermilk. Oh, right. Then we get a layer of custard. Do you want to put... Do you want to... Okay. What? No, no, it's okay. Do, do I, I want to what? No, say it. It's fine. Say it. Just it's fine. <laughs> Hang on a minute, that's falling down the side, I don't like that. Hang on. <laughs> this is, what's everyone saying, am I doing alright? Uh, 
What do you think, guys? Is I this like in? I haven't got my glasses. Oh, man. <laughs> well, why didn't you make the jelly from scratch, Mark? Trina because says. we didn't have time. Anyway, first layer of custard. Looks more like an oh. eaten mess, says Catherine. It's oh. brilliant, says Granny. Trifle mess. Trifle Trina mess. Says the noises. <laughs> what are you looking for there? Trifle now? mess. No, 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 no. That's what we're going to call it. Oh, oh, no, no. I want some of those to. Mark's mess rather than eaten mess, says Wendy. Mm, you've okay. got two layers. Yeah, you've got to make it big. Oh my god, this is going to be so nice. Good work, can I have my twister? Is this going Pumper. on the gram, says Jackie Bellino? Not my gram, it's not Jackie. So this is. Hang on, He went faster than Yeah, that, very fast. Close, fast. close fast. your eyes. <laughs> oh god, Dina. <laughs> Dina. My God, Dina, <laughs> doesn't it go round? <laughs> now, we don't actually know if that makes cream. It that does not go. Does. Look on the box, it does. Did it's I really hurting my biceps, Dina. I think it's a trifle disaster. I didn't give him a big enough bowl. A trifle mess. That's all right, go with it. My right arm is oh. going. No. Oh, oh my God. Jesus Christ, Dina, I need a bigger bowl. <laughs> no, oh, no. God, I'm spilling <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Oh, I'm mighty, we're making such a mess, Dean. This is so inappropriate. Unless there's a way. In the room. <laughs> How is this happening? Oh, you might have to take oh, over. Okay, move Dina, over. Dean, are you using the small one or the big one? Big pardon. The double one. Oh. Wizzy Whisk Pro. Wizzy Whisk Pro. Wizzy Whisk. That's it. Waiting. Faster, faster. That's it. Look at all left arms quite strong, isn't it? <laughs> tiring. Victoria Moore tiring. Says she's tiring. It's not doing anything. It is, it's doubling. Is it? Mandy Lou says, put the other custard on, Mark. Put the other custard on. Jackie Bellino says, electric mix, mix comes to mind. No. Oh my god, where's some glass yeah, of cherries? It's whizzing now. Keep going. Do a squat at it's the same time. It. That's it. Well, it doesn't really work. I've does done it? my 30 yeah. today. Have you done 100 press ups? There's a new thing 100 press ups every day. Oh, come no, on! I can't, I can't. Final bit, I'll go. No! Should we just take over? Go on then. Yeah. We should we get the electric to scale? It's going to be all day. Why is it? Sorry, the box, this is really? very, this feels very young. Um, this is classic, and bought this at the ideal home, and he made so, it with like... Great for egg whites, for your meringues, your omelettes, your lattes, your cappuccinos, your mayonnaise, your gravy, your salad dressing. Easy to use, with minimal effort, just push the whisk up and down, up and down, and the whisk head spins. The 20 air rating circles on the whisk head is over when the clever bit comes in, these 20 circles to the air, which makes it extremely Oh, that's a lot whisky. of nonsense. <laughs> I've never heard such rubbish. No batteries, no cables. Look at just lots well, of fucking... Well, muscle. Dina, there must be something going on. We watched it with our very own eyes. He was brilliant. But he was talking the whole time, but he was going... Yeah, I've got a bit, yeah, yeah. He wasn't like... He wasn't like... Is he all right? Are you sure he wasn't a pervert? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're getting there, you're getting there, you're getting there. <laughs> have to go quite... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, Your trifle will be with you in a moment. <laughs> It's a mere trifle. <laughs> I don't remember my nan doing this. <laughs> I mean, I... said only not on commission for selling. Apparently they're oh. the biggest selling things on Oh, it's TikTok. all over my yeah. hands. They're a TikTok, 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 TikTok sensation. A TikTok, TikTok sensation? <laughs> you find arms, you know when your arm goes so funny so then it starts to just do that. These are a TikTok sensation for God's sake. Go on, Dina. My land's going cold. <laughs> Dina, do it. Come on. Come on. Faster, faster. Fertilise that egg. Oh yes, coming! <laughs> oh, oh, Dina! It's gonna come! Dina! <laughs> Dina! Stop! He's suddenly Oh my god, stop! Please! <laughs> <sighs> and then they fell into each other's arms! That was amazing! Just suddenly turned. Don't stir it! Well, I'm not going to, so I'm just going to... I'm going to... I've it! I'm going to tip it! No, you've got I have finished. overwhisted it! I have wish finished! Well, what? Are you going to have the cream right down there? You're not going to put any more? Well... No, no more biscuits. No, hang on. What I was going to do... Oh, no! No, I know what I've got to do. I've forgotten to do what? this. You have to put them around the edge. Oh, God! Oh, shit. You haven't got enough. That's not going to work. You haven't. I have. Trifle mess. Oh, fuck, I haven't. <laughs> huh. Well, we'll just put it on the ground from this side. Why don't we do it this way? Well, I've got a news to break to you. It's not going on mine and Dean's oh, ground. Oh, sorry. What was that? <laughs> Jelly top. Oh. No. OK, let's... Mark, who's that? It's a what child, a small child. Oh my god, I thought it was over my head. <laughs> I just heard a child about me. Small child, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, 
a garden. Sweet child of mine. Okay. Oh, sweet child Can't of mine. Hang on. This is uh, definitely not going on. Why not? Right? It's going to look fantastic. No way am I putting that Can I get those glass cherries? Oh. Get round it. No, you can't have the glass cherries. It's for the Simnel cake for tomorrow's Sunday show. Oh, oh that's, that's rubbish. <laughs> it's not rubbish. How dare you? My... Right, get the brandy. No wonder my nan poured brandy in. She'd yeah. look at it and go, fucking hell. No one's going to eat no that. She's getting get... get all blind drunk. <laughs> oh, nothing fucking Did good. I use to give him the right cream? Because, I mean, there's not a lot there. Oh. Did you, did you have a new pop cream? I think you overmixed it. I did not. That's perfectly dipped double cream. <laughs> and then, oh, this is exactly how it looked. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and she would do that just to hide a myriad of sins. Yes, as you have. Well done. Round of applause. Yay! Yay! <laughs> do you want some rosemary on it? <laughs> <laughs> Chuck a sprig in. <laughs> you could have put some more fruit in. Oh, nice. So I'm going to get my veg out. Do you want Grab to cut glasses. your lamb and then I'll get my veg out? Yes. Grab those. Oh. Thank you. Oh, it looks lovely. That's exactly what I would walk in and see. Gosh, wow. Thelma. <laughs> Thelma. <laughs> Rest in peace, Happy Easter. Thelma. Rest in peace. Oh. A stink of brandy. Or rum or whatever it was to put in. Okay, Fine. thanks guys. Shuffle away. Oh. All those lamb juices in there are killing me that we haven't made a gravy, but we've run out of time. For the gram. Elsa Pop says she thinks I can do the laminate. She used to do it with her dad. <laughs> so are we are we done? Yeah. 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 It's butter soft. But you can soft. see how that can go a long way now because if butter we soft. shred that down. Wendy Strip says she'd love to see you make a jus. Oh, <laughs> she'd love to see you make a jus. That's melting your mouth. Wow. Absolute melting your mouth. Mmm. Is it like butter? Pure butter. Pure butter. So soft. My mum, your mum. Anyone who's mom. lost their teeth, they can eat that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who's lost their teeth. I've lost their teeth. Mm. Yeah. There's the glacé cherries. And all this onion stuff and everything. Mm. I would say the potatoes are great, aren't You've they? You've got to have some of that, Mark. Alright. Right, I personally would have left this a bit longer to go a bit brown, but I think Oh, that looks nice. Oh, that looks lovely. Right. Delicious. I think all three of us are going to make the gram today, girls. Right, that is sizzling hot. It's going on your gram stuff. Um, oh, my gram. So, for the vegan, you can have that alongside a jacket that didn't have the butter on it. I think we need to have a spoonful. I think we do. Oh, on a plate. Yeah, on a plate. plate. On a plate with some lamb. Put some fruit in this oh. bowl. Oh, what? 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 Are you putting lamb? No, I'm just putting this on here with the jacket. But no, no, no. Oh. That is not a good colour. It's a great plate for No. Nah. What's up with that? What are you Complimentary. Got... Nah. Complimentary. Yeah, complimentary colours. What do you know? You know Jack. <laughs> no, oh. not a okay, play. Let's have one with bunnies on it. Yeah. Are they bunnies? I've yes. never, never noticed what's on it. I mean, bunnies yeah. and squirrels. And nightingales. Can you see the blue cheese? No. <laughs> okay. What? You suddenly went Ray Winstone then. Let's yeah? cut a piece of. So you've got your vegans and you've got your vegetarians and you've got your meat lovers coming. Oh. For and lunch. Sarah Fox, yes. Can everyone vote for their favourite meal of the three? Trifle, <laughs> vegan lasagna or lamb? Uh, not lasagna, parmigiana. Parmigiana, parmigiana. Okay. So oh. you've got your guests. Yeah. And one's a vegetarian and these were the ones without... One's wearing a bunny mask and not giving us. Without else. butter. <laughs> so you've got your potato, bam, gorgeous. Then you've got your meat-eating guests and you would just add... Do all of that, but add the lamb. Shall I plate it up? Might as well. Oh, oh I hate to oh. say it, girls. It's a tie at the moment. Mm. Mm. Oh, well, it depends tie. whether you like lamb or not. Well, I've seen <laughs> the word trifle come up most. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Oh, God, look at that skin. Easter Betty, for, oh, oh my God. Easter for the toothless. <laughs> Easter for the toothless. <laughs> <laughs> it, <laughs> it is. It is. Trifle. It is. <laughs> Soft veg, 
I'm going to put it's, that in the title, it's, Easter Food It's good Central. because this is the time a lot of people have their elderly round and, and you want to cook them lovely food and they go, oh, I'd love to eat it, but I can't. <laughs> it's not soft, my teeth. Soft. soft. <laughs> oh Easter God. for the toothless. Oh, my God, look at that. Oh, that looks beautiful. Good position there, Chi Chi. I like your style. You might be blind, but you know where to stand. Put some of those tomorrow. I'm just one. putting lots of it on here, but you wouldn't put that much just because oh, it, look, sorry guys. it will look good for the gram. Trifles come up lots. And then we can put the garlic <laughs> and the onion. Oh, yeah, lots of people saying all of it looks lovely. And that, it looks great, So you'd put a much smaller bit, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> when you screw up, I'm vegan, but that land looks gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> That's feel, what I feel I, your pain. D Dina is Dina is just in in this silence because she doesn't know what. Jackie Bellino's just said, "Where's the veg?" But I suppose you could use Dina's as the veg. Yeah, no, that's is what we're saying. Ah. Mine is the veg. This is. This is what our cookery book is going to be. It's going to be... Courgette, tomato and aubergine is one of the best additions to lamb. It yeah, really is. Absolutely. And, and the thing is, that's what our cookery book is going to be all about. Which, which the, so you can make something for the vegans and vegetarians that is totally a meal, but you can also just add as a smaller amount to the meat eaters. Because there's loads of families that have both. Yeah. I mean, Dina's boys still eat meat. And yeah, and totally, yeah. Well, I need so, a little basil leaf. Vegan mine. food for meat lovers. <laughs> That's good. Oh, yeah. Bit of this oh one. yeah, I needed a little basil leaf on there. That's the way you've positioned all your shit down here. <laughs> <laughs> My trifles just. We want nothing to do with it. it. Look at it. We want nothing to do with it. Oh. Very right. good, girls. So, Dina, we should do a, a, an Easter dance. A lamb uh, dance. Uh, uh, Where's my glasses? No, we used to do this silly dance. Um, when we were kids, it's a spring dance. Oh, is it? Yes. Yeah, oh, picking blossoms. Picking blossoms. Right, so you go. <laughs> we'll go we like used to this. have a basket. Like this with flowers, you go. Picking blossoms, picking blossoms, picking blossoms from our tree. Picking blossoms, picking blossoms, picking blossoms, picking blossoms from our tree. I never wanted to play 